that a force pushes a system composed of a large block of mass 10 kilograms and a small block of mass 1 kilogram as shown, which I will draw now. Here's a large block, 10 kilograms. And there's a small block here, one kilogram. And there's a force F pushing them. The horizontal surface is frictionless. So here mu equals zero. The contact surface of the two blocks here has a coefficient of static friction 0 0.5. So here mu on this surface, mu s is 0 0.5. Find the minimum force F needed to prevent the small block from sliding. Now, if I don't apply a force at all, there's some friction here, mu s 0.5, but this block will just slide down. If I apply a force, of course, the blocks will, will move with acceleration, but I could choose the force to be large enough to prevent the small block from sliding. What should this force be? To, uh, to solve this problem first, we have to realize under what conditions will the small block not slide? The small block will not slide if what? It's pulled down by a force mg. That's the force of gravity. But there's a force of static friction. So as long as the force of static friction, if the force of static friction is large enough to balance mg, then the small block will not fall. So small block will not fall if, if the force of static friction, if the maximum value of Fs, if maximum Fs is greater than or equal to mg where m is a small mass. Now, fs, the maximum value of fs is mu s f normal. So this must be greater than or equal to mg. So what is the normal force? The normal force is a force between there's a contact between the two blocks here. So the big block applies Fn to the small block. The small block, by Newton's third law, applies an equal but opposite force to the big block. So it applies a force Fn also, but in the opposite direction. So let us write the equations of motion. For the big block, the net force acting is F, the applied force, minus Fn, because Fn is in the opposite direction. And this, by Newton's law, is the mass of the big block times A. This is mass of big block, which is 10, as we know. For the small block, F net is just equal to the normal force, Fn. Now, 
I have mg down, I have the force of static friction up, but the assumption, if it doesn't fall, if it doesn't slide, it means that that Fs, the force of static friction, is equal to mg. So the net force on it will be just Fn. And this must equal to m a. If I add up these two equations, Fn cancels out. So I'm left with F equals m plus m a, which really makes sense because after all this force, if this does not slide, then this force is really pushing the whole thing, the big M plus little m. So both of them, I can think of them then as just one mass, which is m plus m. So, so this is uh, uh, force that must... Uh, so, so I, I get the acceleration. I know I have the force is m plus m. This is just 11 kilograms. So we get the acceleration is just f over m plus m. All right. Now... We want Fn Fn from here is just Ma. So Fn is little m times A. So F over M plus M. The condition that I need is that mu s fn is larger than or equal to mg. So mu s times, remember this is a condition. If mu, mu s fn, that's the force of static, that's the maximum force of static friction. As long as this maximum force of static friction is larger than mg, then the small block will not slide because the force of static friction, which will be up, will prevent that. So I have mu s fn, and fn is this, just m f over m plus m. This must be equal or greater than mg. So the M cancels, little m, little m. This means that the force must be greater than or equal to M plus M G divided by mu s. Okay, the little m cancels, so the force is greater than or equal m plus m g over mu s. So if the force is larger or equal to this value, the force of static friction would be larger than mg, little mg, and the small slide, the small block will not slide down. Thank you for listening.